Welcome back to Pokemon Shield! We're back, because it's a new expansion. Yeah, you know, I've I've been jonesing for a little Pokemon. I don't know why, but I was thinking not long ago, hey, you know, I kind of want to get back in there. I kind of want to get back in there and hack around some more. And as it turns out, that's going to work well for us. Because the Crown Tundra just came out. Not long ago at all. The second expansion to Pokemon Shield. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. Hooray. Um, I've not I actually know very little about what's going to happen in Crown Tundra. I've not been intentionally keeping myself in the dark, but I've been not... I, like, haven't seen anything. I haven't seen trailers, nothing. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Like, again, I haven't intentionally been keeping myself in the dark, but I just haven't been paying attention to what's going on. I've had other priorities, I guess. <laughs> um, so, as soon as you hop on, you get a notification that says it's out, you go here. I showed this one off when we went here. Whatever this place is called. Oh, the Isle of Armor. Yeah. Yeah, you got... I showed it off at the beginning of the Isle of Armor. DLC, and that was the same... D it's, it's the same thing. A thing pops up that says, like, hey, you can go to the Crown Tundra by going here. Yeah, it says the, uh... It says you get a crown uh, pass. Now you, can, now you get a... Now you go to the, the um... Uh, the beginning stations, like Wedgehurst, and it'll take you to the Crown Tundra. Yeah, and like an idiot, I, um... saved after showing that, so I can't actually show it to you. But I haven't done anything else. So you do that, and you go back here, and you're going to Wedgehurst. Was this train track here before? I don't know. I it, I kind of think I I think about this stuff all the time, like afterwards. Like, was that there, or did they add that after everything? You know, I could just go back and watch an old video. We saw the map enough. Yeah, you could literally watch our beginning video of Isle of Armor. It's the same track you're going on. Yeah. Back to Wedgehurst. I gotta remember where it is to your place left trip. Yep. I found it. Oh boy. I wanna do that. Toot toot! Is that a new graphic? Did they? Oh, wow. That's just down there. Yeah. Just, hey, you know, this was, this has been down here. It's not even on a different continent. It's just. Oh, yeah. Well, the whole point is the Crown Tundra is based. You have to, you have to imagine the whole Isle of Galar is upside down because that's, this is based off of Scotland. Hmm. And as we know, Scotland is definitely not south of England. Okay, I, I want to see a comeback of the Scottish female Pokemon trainer meme. I mean, it really helps now. Really? I, I want to see a comeback of that. Kind of makes you wonder. Look, we even started on the southmost end of Galar. Kind of really makes you wonder where Wales is in the in, uh, relatively to this whole thing. Oh, boy. Hey, I didn't give the okay for this. It just came out on its own. Don't be touching my stuff. All right. Man, look how frosty. Uh, no, I don't want to do anything. Look how frosty this thing looks. Oh, yeah, you're at the Crown Tundra. Oh, maybe I should have put a jacket on. Uh, you'll be fine. Nope, already cold. <laughs> You'll be fine. Look, at the end of the day, I'm I'm a JRPG protagonist. I don't feel cold. And I want to look cute, so here we are.
I like this guy. He's all right. I mean, I get, I get her. She's of the age where she wants independence to go out and be her own person, do her own thing. But like, oh my goodness, this guy is great. <laughs> it's one of those things of like, when you're an adult, you're like, yeah, I get. It's so weird when you think about it, how kids and adults are so alike, but teenagers are that weird, like, nah, I don't want anything to do with any of those. Because mm. it's like, as kids, you're like, yeah, I'm excited for this, and as adults, you're like, yeah, I'm excited for this, and as teenagers, you're like, uh, I don't want to be involved with this, you weird man. Yeah, I feel like the teenage years, it's, it's the coming of age. It's where you're figuring out who you are. And the first thing that you want to do is the opposite of everything that everybody's been telling you to do. Because you want to do your own thing. And, like, when you're a kid, you're happy. Being, like, you're doing what everybody tells you to do, and you're hanging out with everybody doing what everybody else is doing. It's but awesome. as soon as you hit teenager and you want to put your own mark on the world, you start going but I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. I don't want to do what everybody's telling me to do. I want to do my own thing. Yeah. And then as soon as you hit an adulthood, you're like, I don't give a crap anymore. I'm just going to do what's fun. Well, it's pretty much what you said. Being a teenager is coming into an adult. So it's like you're trying to be independent from what you were as a kid. I don't want... To, I don't know. I mean, look, let her go out and have her fun, though. Also, she's just as... Oh, cool, that means I get to hang out with the dad? Yeah! Also, I hate to say it, she's just as inappropriately dressed as you are for this weather. And she's not that bad. She's got, like, leggings and long sleeves. Well, yeah, and she's got leggings. It's a coat over a shirt, over a warm shirt. I'm just wearing a friggin' sleeveless dress. I believe it's called a blazer, and I can tell you right now that thing will not help you from a, from cold that has snow around in the area. Oh, I don't want to fight you. You're cool. Look at this guy! Is it Peony? Is that how you pronounce that? That's what I'd say. Mm. Hey, Kaparaja, I've fought you before. What's he, uh, steel something? Yep, steel type. Just pure steel? Pure steel. Okay, so you want to hit him with fire, fighting, or ground. I at least take half damage to steel, but I don't have fire, fighting, or ground on me. So, fire would be... Yep, cream will just absolutely destroy it. Um, that's about it, really. If I want to resist his attacks. Yeah. Wait, what level is he? 70. 70. Oh, he's got two Pokemon, too. I don't... If I had anything that wasn't not very effective... I'd keep Alina out. But, like, this thing is a tank. Ow. Okay, well, now let's go have some fun. Um, don't you have, like, a not one? Well, you're both the same. Look, they're probably either going to full heal me after this, or I'm not immediately going to get into a giant fight after this. Oh, I can't say anything. You don't want spoilers. Ow. Spoilers, your protagonist dies in the start all over. Yes, it is a Gen 3 Pokemon. It is Steel Rock type. Steel Rock? Yep. That's a new one. Okay, so super weak to fighting and ground. Oh. Um, not, not really that new. I said it was from Gen 3. 
It has them. Well, I meant new as in it's new. That yeah. wasn't in. Yeah, it's new. that was introduced in Crown Tundra. Yes, it's one of the it's one of the families introduced in the Crown Tundra. It's uh, it's Mega Evolution. It went pure steel type. So. Oh, I do have a fighting move. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep cream out, I guess. Or I could have Mistral High Jump kick it for funsies. Sure, why not? Let's have some fun. Uh, Mistral at least takes neutral damage to both rock and steel. Oh yeah, I remember you. See, I don't remember like any names, but I'm sure I've seen pretty much everybody. Oh wow, it's not dead. It has sturdy. Oh. What does that mean? It's got one HP left? Yep. Well, now it's got more than one Pretty HP much left. if it takes damage enough to where it would basically get one hit KO'd, it just lives on one HP. I was really hoping he would get buffeted by hail and die, but he ate that stupid berry. Okay, how do you feel about grass? Probably not at all. No, you take neutral damage to grass, really? Yeah, it's steel and rock type. Rock is weak and steel's resistant. So okay. It turns out. Though, just to let you know, Sturdy only works once. If they have, right, to, I would. They have. It's to, a little broken if it does more than that. It has. They have to full heal to get back up to where Sturdy can work again. But other than that, they only get that one shot there. Yeah, she bailed, dude. Hmm. I mean, at least we're kind of on the same page. <sighs> I don't know, I feel like this one is a lot, little more directly insulting. And, like, I don't want to say that to his face. I think it's pretty much one of those. It's all He'll always have similar dialogue no matter which choice you pick. It's just more of, like, what's your attitude into the in direction to this? Hmm. Um, sure. I don't think that has anything... I'm sure she loves you more than anything, but I don't think that was a show of it. Adventor. Yeah, so we're going into this with the same team that we had. The same team that we finished up Isle of Armor with, which means we're all level 100. So we're probably a little OP for this. Um, but this did add a whole bunch of new Pokemon. Yep. There's one right there now, the little ice thing. Oh, also... Uh... Or you're walking away from it, but... Cool looking guy, look at that. Yeah, Krygonical. Yeah, and then this guy back here. That is a fossil Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, it's just... There are fossil Man. Pokemon out here. I mean, okay. Swablu. Oh, you're the little... Yeah, you're the bird guy. The bird that trans... Jinx? Yep, Jinx. The controversy Pokemon. Yeah, the thing with Jinx is it's intended to represent something 
different than how we interpret it over here. I mean, art is not created in a vacuum. Just because it's acceptable in one culture doesn't make it acceptable elsewhere. Yeah. And that's why localization exists as a concept. Like, the idea is to make something that has the same impact. It's not necessarily to leave this as close as possible to what it originally was. Instead, it's more of a, let's make sure this has the same impact on the audience here that it has on the audience there. And so, if their intention is in reference to something that's not controversial at all, then introducing controversy is not the correct localization. What a guy. Uh, maybe I should follow him. I don't know. I can only hope that whenever I get around to having a family, I can be half that annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is the father that I aspire to be. And any kids are pretty much just going to hate you when it becomes, uh, when they become teenagers. I mean, that's part of the package. Hey kids, would you like to play them video games that I like so much? God, Dad, we're on something new. And they just plug in the core to the, the big back. old guy. Yeah, it's a mammoth swine. He will charge you. I thought he had a question mark over his head. No, no, he will charge you. Hey, dude. And unfortunately, you hey, don't have the money to, uh, to back it up. Oh. Um. Uh, Yeah, they Come just, on, dude. You try to play with, like, the old analog game. Okay, fine, be that way. Plug into the back of their head and everything. And it's like, I don't understand kids no more. How do you know? The XP Pokemon. <laughs> Beat it up for a lot of XP. That one looks like the... Looks kind of like the Maiden Butler Pokemon. That eh, kind of does. Yeah, they're, they're out here, too, somewhere. Cosmic power. 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 Okay, so I'm pl as I mentioned before, I'm playing this almost entirely blind. I don't know what I'm getting into, but one thing I do like is exploring. So let's take a look at the map. So we're here. That's where we came in. That's going that way. There's a town right here, though. Yeah, you may want. You're probably going to want to do this little max layer thing just to get this over with. Yeah, I don't think they're even going to let me go into town. I didn't see a way to get there. There is a way down, but I just... I, I never went down there before. There's a bomb of snow. Oh, there it is. It's a ramp going down here. I'm pretty sure... I thought it was all fenced off for some reason. Yeah, like, I should at least get this done, so I kind of got my foot in the game, but I just kind of want to go off and see what this place has got for me. I know, but at the same time, it's something interesting that you should probably check out. Yeah, we should at least get, like, the basics of what the heck is going on in this expansion. Look, a dude's daughter is in there. If she, Especially if she's in danger, he's gonna go get her. Uh, listen, I understand the risks that you want to take here, but I'm, I'm trying to tell you the precautions to avoid all that. Fuck you. Look, if she's in there and in danger, he goes after her. It's that simple. Yes, I understand that. But we also want two people to come out alive, not none. Two is greater than zero. <laughs> I, I don't know how to math at you harder than that. <laughs> And you're the math guy of the bunch. I'm the history. Okay, she will let us through if we listen, so sure. Ugh. Listening? Yeah, I can't be bothered to listen to someone. I'm an American visiting... For, oh, excuse me. I'm a Unovan visiting Galar. I'll go wherever I want. <laughs> Yeah. 
I think he finally heard that she would actually allow us in. Uh, man, you got some sciencey stuff going on here. What's going on? Some ratings on something. Dynite or a? Oh, I should have looked at what you have. Okay, EXP candy, Dynamax candy. Right, you go to the very bottom. Oh, I've got here. vitamins. You go to the. I've got vitamins. Yep. That's cool. Go to the very bottom here, real quick. See that thing that's worth two hundred of these mm -hmm. ores? That thing will allow you to take your Pokemon and give it its hidden ability. Ooh, because that's not a thing that you could get before. You could swap the yes, normal the, ability. The ability capsule right above is literally the, if the Pokemon has two abilities, it swaps back and forth. But the ability patch is literally, if it has a hidden ability and you want that, put it on, use it on that Pokemon, and it gives it the hidden ability. All right. Uh, we got get bottle caps here, too, which you can use back in the mainland. Yeah, the battle tower. Okay, so that's good. Keep that in mind. Dot dot. Dot dot dot. Oh, they're adorable, aren't they? Going on an adventure. An adventure. To catch Pokemon, to catch little gods and keep them in my power. What? Nothing. Don't worry. The likes of which you've never seen before. Oh god, why does that sound familiar? You've literally trainer to set off to explore. You've literally hit on a memory of some kind from an, like an old cartoon I used to watch, and it's not. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I said that because it hit a memory for me, and. I cannot place it either. Uh -huh. Legendary Pokemon. The deepest parts of the unusual den. Must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you, but I want to take in my own team. Oh, nope, you got to use rental Pokemon for this. Dang it. Yes, this is actually the fun part about this, is you got to use rental Pokemon to actually go into the dens. What do you mean fun? I want to take my level 100 Scizor in. Well, no, the Pokemon are relative to whatever you're trying to catch, so you don't have to worry about, like, going in with a level 1 Ditto and just going like, well, what do I do with it? Lose? Uh, each trainer, select Pokemon they will take, sure, whatever... Oh, cool. So you actually get to add that as part of your team and keep using the legendary. Cool stuff. Well, see, the thing is, is that the Pokemon you beat along the way, you can choose to switch out, but also your other party members will also want to choose to do so. Hmm. So you have to choose. You have to choose wisely because you're all using the same Pokemon. It doesn't get healed at all during the adventure unless you come across something else. Exactly. This guy's got it. He truly understands everything. I mean, hey, look, at the end of the day, all you can do is throw your face at it and you come out with some experience. Sometimes you got to experience it firsthand. To really get a grasp on what's going on. Yeah, probably the chairman's brother or something. <laughs> Not even kidding. That's probably going to be the. Oh, be the thing. I can tell you right now. The moment she said that, I slapped my hand against my head and went like, "He does look exactly like Rose. Oh, he's probably related to him or something." Because it was 100% like, I keep seeing this guy. And then it's just like, oh yeah, he's pro he looks like Chairman Rose a lot. And I was like... <gasps> okay, I want to go. 
But you have to talk to her. Sure, I guess. You can do them alone. Oh, you invite four trainers. Oh, so it's four. A it's Sorry. three AI. Yeah, three AI trainers come with you. It's it's either you bring people with you or just the AI trainers come along. Uh, can I re-random to not get Eevee guy? Oh, wow, I've got to choose quick. Crap. Oh, yeah, you got to choose um, real fast. Okay, Kingler. A. Ooh, well, cream. I mean, I understand putting a time limit on, but, like, holy crap. All right, well, I'm not getting that far yet. Um, well, you got a water. Okay, so if there's stuff. water, then we want, like, grass or something. We don't want ground. God dang it, give me, like, more than three seconds. No, you're, you got to choose here, man. Since, since you're on an adventure with, like, NPCs, they'll just go along with you. Like, even if it's live, give me, like... Give me a hot minute. Oh, vile plume. I do like vile plume. Uh, probably nothing I have is good against vile plume. Now I can dig. Can I Dynamax in each fight or only once in the entire den? Oh, you can Dynamax in each fight. It just rotates who's going to be the first one to Dynamax. Well, they're dumb AIs, so they're probably not going to at all. Yeah, it's bet you Dynamax now and get it over with, and then it'll just rotate back to you. Yeah, just like a completely normal Dynamax then. So nothing abnormal about this, other than that I'm not using my own Pokemon. Ooh, Gigantamax! Yeah, it has the little symbol, it's a Gigantamax keeper. Man, it's been long enough. I just I thought that symbol just meant, oh, it can Dynamax at all. Oh. And I was like, yeah, I want one that can Dynamax at all. Uh, here's one thing you're gonna love. But like, no, now it's it's coming back to me. It's coming back. Here's here's one thing you're gonna love, like 100%. Just the moment I say it, uh, none of the Pokemon in here put up shields. Oh, thank. Heaven. Because you have to go through four different Pokemon, I think they realized that it was not just, don't do the shields. They already got enough to deal with. I did, like, no damage to that thing. It is a Dynamax Pokemon. I mean, so am I. No, you're a Gigantamax Pokemon. Get, get it straight, so should have done even more. I mean, you did a I mean, lot. I guess I'll do it again. You still did a lot to it. I guess they can make the attacks do less damage when they don't have shields to actually have them, like, put up a fight. Mm, oh, and also, a uh, fair warning, uh, it's four knockouts total this entire area. Oh, so it's it, like not... one knockout per match and you still go down? It's it, no. It's basically if you get four KOs at the first area in the first Pokemon, uh, you get immediately get ejected. If you get to the very end and you still have like one knockout available, and one person gets knocked out, it's game over. Okay, so it's four across the entire. Yes, and across this entire adventure. Oh, that's kind of rough, actually. Yeah. I don't think the turn things. I think the turn things is still like per battle, but yeah, it's you. You get one KO at the start. You're down a KO, and you can't get KO'd again. Okay, somebody just kill this thing. Oh, grass is gonna be good to the end, but I don't know if Vileplume is gonna make it to the end. Well, see here's the, well catch it first. 
because you actually have to catch it to put it on your team here. Uh, no, just use... I only got two Ultra Balls? What the crap? No, only use Pokeballs. In here, it's 100% capture rate. Oh, we're all too late. I had 23 of these anyway. Yeah, you say that, and I have like 600-some plus on mine. Okay, so... I want to keep Vileplume around, because Vileplume will be good against the final boss. Let's see. If we get that far. Here's the thing. Do you want to swap with it now, or do you want somebody else in the group to swap with it? Um... Because you got ten seconds left to choose. Someone else swap. His Kingler's pretty good, alright. Alright, now you gotta um, choose which one you, which way you go. What happens with the trainer in the way? Uh, I don't know. They either heal you, or do something else for your party. Well, we'll find out. Because I actually, the first time I went through here, I completely ignored everything. You can hit A to vote. You have to hit the A button. I sure did. Oh, I can get an item. Cool. Uh, leftovers. I like leftovers. So now you encounter a fairy type Pokemon. Okay, fairy type, eh? Uh, fairy type is gonna be weak to poison and steel. Ooh. I believe that thing's fairy. What the crap? It's electric fairy. So you must best want to be careful with your Kingler here. Okay, poison and ground work on it. Uh, um, you stick. Yeah. Gonna be your uh, dy the Dynamax doesn't recharge at the beginning of each fight. Well, yeah, it's because it's on someone else now. One of the other trainers has the Dynamax option. Welp! Yeah, that got fucked you over, didn't it? You lied when you said fairy. No, it is electric fairy. I didn't lie. You misled me when you said fairy. I didn't mislead you. The game is... Not you, the game. Oh, I was going to say, it's... Bro, I will drive over there and I will chop your nose off. <laughs> and, like... The game's just like, yeah, here's a fairy type. Go have fun fighting a fairy type. Um... Thanks. Keep going. Your cheer did nothing for anybody. In fact, you've only been detrimental to the group. Well, that's rude. Look, you got one shot at you cheering me on isn't gonna help. Oh, goody, they can kill it. I mean, Dig would have done it if it didn't go first. If it just didn't get lucky with the thunder accuracy and just went like, I'll just kill your Pokemon in one shot. Hey, you know what? I can attack a lot of things, but I'm going to attack this one. I'm going to go before it. I mean, even if... Oh, hey, I can go back out. Yeah, just take Oh, no, turn. it's just going to one-shot me again, though. Well, just try to dig real quick. Don't you dare. That's taking away all the stat upgrades anyone's ever put up. Well, that's fairy type, at least. Single target fairy type. Mm-hmm. Made the terrain all fog and fairy-like. Yay, I dig. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Later, nerds. I'll be back later. Yay! We did it. Alright, well, might as well. Yeah, just catch it with Pokeballs if you can. Okay, so do I want to swap out for this thing? Kingler's not bad, but I don't think we have electricity. No, you don't have electric yet. Yeah, and we have we got two glooms though, but I got like water. We already have another water, so I'll take it. Not that that 
sunfish is gonna help much. The stuck fish? I think that's ground electric. So. Um, oh, electric is gonna be bad against ground. I can try dark though. Yeah, we don't have a lot against ground right now. But, oh, I just got rid of King. <laughs> it's gonna be dark ground here. Just to mock you. Ground dark. Yeah. There is a Not even dark ground. Ground dark. I mean, <clears throat> the sand isle family is that literally that. Oh, it's naked. No. Thievil. There we go. Yeah, Thievil. Okay, so what's this? Dark, obviously? Is it just pure dark? Pure dark. Alright, well, that got a good fighting bug and fairy. Oh, hey, guess what I got? Max Starfall Soaker. It's swole, son. <laughs> Yay. Hey, wait, you can't go twice, that's cheating. We don't have shields in this one. We can do whatever we want. Why can't I go twice? What's so different about you? What the crap? I'm Dynamaxed, and that's super effective. Why does it do so little damage? Mm hmm. This game's cheating. I don't like it. Yay. Get paralyzed, sucker. It will never trigger. Oh, I kept the, um, whatever. The leftovers? Yeah. I guess. Kind of makes sense, honestly. Okay, y'all want to, like, do damage? And we're all related to the gentleman with the soul rock. Why? I gave you that vial plug. And you've done nothing but grassy terrain. Are they s literally switching back and forth on terrain? Oh, thank heaven somebody attacked. Because, I mean, grassy terrain's probably better for this kind of thing because you need to be. you need the heals from it. Like, it heals the other Pokemon too, but it, as a group, you guys need the heals. Somebody just kill it. You know how swell it would be if they, like, attacked? Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's literally all the jokes about the gentleman ever. Like, that's all I want at the end of the day. Just hit it. Don't do any of these buffing moves. Just friggin' kill it. It's so weird that... The Oddish family gets Moon Blast. It's got one HP left. I'm gonna raise my attack. I'm gonna change the terrain, even though the whole point of the grassy terrain was to heal all of us. Oh boy, now there's an electric current. That'll help us out in the future, even though I could have killed it that turn if I just did anything that did damage. God, I'm so smart, and you just kick the kid to death. Okay, do I want electric or do I want dark? Uh, you're going up against a water type, so... Electric it is. I mean, you still want to catch it. I don't even know what happens if you don't catch it. I'm pretty sure Guess somebody's got it already the chance there. To swap out. If you do this with actual human people, who gets to catch it? 
I think you all catch it, and then you just all gotta, like, argue who gets what. No, no, no. Swap out the fish guy. That thing's almost dead. And water is not gonna help against water. I mean, still technically ground electric, so... And now you go up against... Suicune! Man, actual legendaries. Yeah. How about that one? Pure water type. Sorry, I'm hecking around with some settings here, trying to make things work better. Um... Okay, well, I can't Dynamax, so I guess I'm just gonna thunder and hope for the best. Has anybody gone down other than me? No. Okay, so we got three... we got three <laughs> downs. I think the, the Stun Fist might be going down here in a second. Probably. If I live long enough, I can Dynamax again. Oh, 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 and also, as a, just as an added bonus, just to remind you, you don't get access to your items, so you can't heal in between turns. Of course. I mean, at least I heal a little bit with the leftovers. Can you, like, badly poison it so it gets worse every turn? Then all we have to do is not lose. Wait, I can... No, I can't. I got one more turn. But it's lit up. I don't think you can... Like, it's lit up like I should be able to. Well, it's whatever. because it's building up the power. Uh, I mean, if that Vile Plume had Toxic, it probably would have used it, but... Now, I think it's because it's got electric terrain. Ow, cut that crap harder. out. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna Dynamax and then immediately die. I know you're Dynamaxing next, die. Hey, Thunderbolt, that's something. Like, like I said, st Stun Fisk is ground electric, so... I thought it's a fish. It should be watered. You would think. I think they originally wanted to make it water electric or something like that, but then they were... It's either water electric or water ground, but then they were like, eh, we don't got enough ground types for Gen 5, so... There we go. Okay, let me get my attack off before you kill me. No. In fact, I'll kill you as you're Dynamaxing. What the crap? What are you... You can't do that. That's cheating. I'm a legendary. I'm allowed to cheat. <laughs> Yay! That did a negligible amount of damage more than it did otherwise. And I changed the terrain to electric type, so... To electric terrain. So the person is probably gonna do grassy terrain at some point. Oh no, it's gonna put up a shield. Nope. That just means it gets like a double attack now or something. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, cut that out. Oh, thank heavens, you friggin' attacked with the Vile Bloom. It's already electric, you fool! Attack! This is what my grandpa told me to do. And it's, oh, ooh, oh, stop kicking me in the stomach! Not until you learn. Kickings will continue until intelligence improves. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I well, this is it for me. Look, the things like that. The things like they're close to dead, though. And you still Somebody got just two KOs. Kick it so. in the shin. I mean, you got you still have two KOs to go, and it's definitely not been close to ten turns, so you. Pretty much got this one in the bag. Provided okay, it doesn't like water. Got that vile plume for a reason. <laughs> Somebody attack. 
Let me heal real quick. No! Just win! There, we did it. Now, here's the, I exploded. Now here's the thing, before you throw your Pokeball, you can catch it in any Pokeball you want because it is again 100% capture. Um, I don't know, I'm not the kind that actually gives a crap what Pokeball my Pokemon are in. But it feels really weird when one of them is in a weird Pokeball. So like, I like it best when just put all of them in the same Pokeball. Now here's the other thing. Did it. You gotta choose which one of the four Pokemon you caught you're gonna take with you, because you can't take Well, them I mean the legendary. Everything else, like, I'm pretty sure I own all three of those. Pretty sure. I thought that's a dynamite whore. That's dangerous. <laughs> oh, everything makes sense on why they explode at the end. <laughs> you know, I've never just walked around in one of these before. I know, it was so weird to see this little cutscene like, well, what, what, why am I still in the den? I'm a tofu. To watch her name's tofu. Just everyone in our British audience just winced when I did that. Just ugh. You know, probably. Look, I've beaten up a lot of people. Like, way more than I'm comfortable with admitting to. The look on Tofu's face says, I would love to do that. Legendary Pokemon, you say? I want to go on an adventure. That sounds like great fun. You know, there's dens outside. You can just... <laughs> I mean, it sounds like great fun, but that's your... That's for you, sorry. Oh, I already caught one. <laughs> At this point, you're up to three total, I think. Yeah, what do we got? One, two, three, and this was four. Oh, no, no, no. F yeah, four, because of Urshifu. I forgot about Urshifu. It's so awkward, like, talking to someone that, like, he used to be a gym leader. He's re he's actually pretty good. And I'm like, I was the champion. I, w I beat the... Yeah, I'm the champion. Master at the dojo. I own four legendary Pokemon. I'm the champion. I beat a former... Ch I beat another former champion. I'm the queen of Galar. Yeah, I'm the queen of Galar. I saved the world from the origin of all Dynamax Pokemon. I currently own him. Here he is. <laughs> doing 
okay. I love the new little thing for the Yukata Legendary. It's like, yeah! <laughs> Oh. Well, that's not so bad. He walked in... The backpack looks like it weighs a lot, though. He walked in ten feet and then hit his head on a rock. <laughs> we just walked right by him by accident. Is it, dude, I caught a Suicune when I was in there. How could you just mess it up that badly? Oh, he was investigating the rock, that's why. I mean, I don't really know her well enough to judge. Maybe she is. I did, actually. Friggin' scientist just like, I hate life. <laughs> Why do I have to deal with this person right now? <sighs> I mean, he's a, he's a cool guy, he understands. Like, he just loves his daughter and wants to spend time with her and let her have a good time, but he also gets her. I'm a tofu. I'm a tofu? That sounds like you're Italian. We don't like Italians around here in Galar. Wait, what's the Italian region of, Ga of Pokemon? We don't have one yet. We just call you Italians for now. This is Boy, a lead card. It's a very confusing thing. All oh, right, I never checked his lead card. Yeah. I like this guy. He's everything I want to be. Okay, so we've seen, um, that's our introduction to Crown Tundra, and at least what it's going to entail to a degree. They're kind of the thing with Crown Tundra. It introduced a number of regular Pokemon. We still don't have all of them left. And the one that I really want still isn't in, so I'm just going to have to bite that bullet. But uh, one thing Crown Tundra did do is it brought back, like, friggin' so many legendary Pokemon. All the legendaries. Yeah. In fact, uh, what I th the funny thing is, is I thought they weren't going to bring back the Ultra Beasts. They brought those back, too. Hmm. They're not even because it's considered legendaries. They're a whole separate thing. But nope, they're in now. I don't know why all the legendaries in the world decided to convene here. There is a reason, and we will see it when we get into town, and I, I immediately saw that and went like, what? And on top of that, it feels weird that I can just go catch leg literally every legendary when plot dictated that many of them were caught by other trainers around the world. Yeah, but, uh, you gotta... Don't think too hard about it. It's a video game. Yeah, but you have to catch them all, so shut up. Yeah. So until next time, everyone, we're going to go back outside, we're going to go to town, we're going to learn stuff, and then we're going to, I don't know, ride our bike everywhere, except here. <laughs>